Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you panning effects in Reaper, which can also be known as auto panning. So I have a track in front of me here with a drum beat and a synth. But as you can tell, the synth is mono. So it really doesn't have any motion. So we're going to create that motion or movement using panning. Let's see what we have now. Let's solo the synth, the mono synth. That could be a lot more interesting if we pan it or auto pan it. So let's do this by putting an effect on that synth. So let's go here to the effects. Let's go to all plugins, go to our filter, and type in pan. Right down over here, there's a plugin called Volume Pan Smoother version 5. So it's meant for Reaper 5. So we'll choose that. And it looks like this. Let's float it by double clicking over here. So it's a bit smaller. Now, this plugin only has a few parameters it has volume, pan, and pan lower. We're going to modulate the pan parameter. So we'll touch it and go to parameter. And see right here, it says last touched. Pan. If we didn't touch it first, we go down over here to the effects parameter list, go to parameter modulation, and we choose pan. But because we touch this, we can go right over here and choose parameter modulation from this menu. It's a bit quicker. So now we can go down over here to LFO and turn that on to modulate our pan. As you can see, it's already moving. Move this down here. But it's moving from right to the center. We could change that by adjusting our baseline all the way to this side. So now it's going left to right. Or we could change it by changing the direction to center. If we choose this, the modulation is centered. So now it goes from left to right. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Let's hear it in solo. Right away, it's a pretty cool effect. There's a lot more motion and movement in the sound. Let's make some adjustments. We could adjust the speed right here. To make it slower or faster. We could sync up the speed with the tempo of the song right here and adjust it based on quarter notes. Let's make it one quarter note or two quarter notes for a half note. We can go to the phase and adjust where the sound starts. So right now we hit play. It starts on the left side. We could change it to the right side. Or anywhere in between. We could also change it by switching the direction to negative and moving this to the right side. Or flip it around by changing the direction to positive and moving the bass line to the left. Now right now, every time we hit play, it starts from the same point. But we can make that more random by choosing the phase reset to free running. So now it's gonna move back and forth, but it's gonna be more random. So every time we hit play, it's going to be in a different spot. So it starts a bit more random. Let's switch this back to on seek. 
and then it's going to restart our phase or its pattern every time we hit play. So it always sounds the same. Now we could also adjust the strength. Right here, this decides how far it actually moves. So if we choose centered, it's not going to go hard left or hard right anymore. See over here, it doesn't go as far. So we can control the width of the effect using our strength. We can also use the strength to focus the sound more to the left or more to the right. So let's adjust our bass line to be towards the left, bring this to 50, and see the sound is between hard left and the center. So it's the same effect focused on the left side. And we can do the opposite by adjusting the bass line to the other side. Let's put it back to the middle, bring our strength all the way up, and let's take a look at some other shapes. Right now we're using a sine wave, so it's very smooth from left to right, and it goes from left to right and everywhere in between. If we choose a square wave, it just has two positions. In this case, left or right, but nothing in between. We can make it faster to a quarter note, or even faster to create a pulsing effect. So that's a square wave. We could also choose saw waves in two different directions. If we choose saw left, let's make it slower. It goes smoothly from right to left and then bounces back and starts again, starting the pattern over again. And we can adjust the phase of where it starts. Or we can reverse it by choosing saw right. Now it moves the opposite way, from left to right, and then it bounces back again, repeating the same pattern. We could also choose triangle, which is very similar to a sine wave, but it's slightly different. It's a sharper pattern. And then finally, we have random. This is going to randomly move to different pan points. Let's make this faster. Make an eighth note. And see how it moves? Completely random. Let's make it faster. Sixteenth note. But if you just want to create a standard auto pan, you're going to want to stick to either triangle or sine waves. Anyway, that's panning effects in Reaper, or modulating the pan, or creating an auto pan. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.